Hello guys. Welcome to my online teaching class Science KSSM Form 4. My name is Teacher Adrian. Hello again guys. Before we start, please subscribe, like, comments and share my YouTube channel at Teacher Adrian Vlog. In my channel, I will continue update my online class teaching. Thank you for watching. Our lesson today is about Chapter 7 Body Coordination. So many of you maybe already generally understand what is body coordination. So as an introduction, body coordination is the adjustment of our body's reaction towards any stimulus around us and from the inside of our body like change in temperature and digestion of food. Coordination ensures that each part of the body is controlled so that IT functions in harmony. Really class, it that really hard to understand. Okay. Okay. Let make it simple. God make your body react automatically toward the surrounding. So your body will respond if anything good or harm to your body. Okay class. So far so good. Okay class, we go to what all that consists of body coordination. First one is the human endocrine system and every its functions. Please pay attention. For the entire my explanations. The endocrine glands are ductless glands that secrete hormones directly into the blood. The human endocrine system consists of the following glands, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, pancreas, adrenal glands, ovary for female and testis for male. As you can see in the diagram given, this is the locations of each glands in human body. Ok class. Now let's see the functions of each human endocrine glands. We start the function of the first one, that is the pituitary gland. The functions of the pituitary gland is as master gland that controls other endocrine glands and controls the growth of muscles and bones. As you see in the diagram, pituitary gland is located at below of our brain. The second one is thyroid gland. This gland is situated at our trachea. You can see at the diagram shown. The function of thyroid gland is to controls the physical and mental development and the rate of body metabolism. Now the third one is pancreas. The pancreas secretes insulin and glucagon to regulate the level of blood sugar and blood. Insulin lower blood sugar level by changing glucose into glycogen in the liver. Meanwhile glucagon raises blood sugar level by changing glycogen into glucose in the liver. Pancreas is situated at below of our stomach. Pair of adrenal glands, it's situated at top of our kidney. The function of adrenal glands is to increase the rate of heartbeat and respiration, and body metabolism. For the next one is testis and ovary. Testis, secrete testosterone to control the maturity and development of the male sex organs. It also stimulate to produce sperm and stimulate development of male secondary sexual characteristics like armpit hair and mustache, development of the larynx and formation of muscles in the body. Meanwhile, ovaries secrete estrogen and progesterone to stimulate development in female secondary sexual characteristic like enlargement of the pelvis and development of the breasts. It also controls the menstrual cycle and stimulate development of the milk glands during pregnancy. Thank you for your attentions class. I hope this video helps you to understand the human endocrine system. Please take note on the function of all the endocrine glands mentioned. Before we end this lesson, let's do a pop quiz. Yes, class. Pop quiz. Alright class, settle down, settle down. Now, this is the first questions. Give you 10 seconds to answer it. Now, this is the second questions. Start answer it now. Okay class. This is the last questions.
That all for today class. Thank you for attention, for today my online teaching class. See you soon on my next online teaching class. Bye bye.